Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Code, I am Penj and welcome back to Archeo Shinar, where we're back for some more archaeological adventures with Penj covered in his very very silly face and just to have a look at where we are, we are currently number one, we are currently leading at the moment with 28 reputation but that lead is very slender indeed because Sir George Charles Lemmox here, very stern faced chap, he is in second place, he's only one point behind us, one little point behind us and last time out he didn't get any points at all so you know if he'd have got one point last time we would be level pegging so yeah it's very very close then I think it's uh, it's Madame Vanessa de Autrimco with the fantastic hat she is in third place she's quite a long way down and then um, and then Chappie here General Joseph Arknabel is way down in fourth place he's got 16 reputation in fact they're not they're not that far apart 16 and 17 those two so they're not actually doing two, yeah, they're, they're sort of quite close to each other in terms of third and fourth. And there's a bit of a gap up between sort of third and second. So yeah, we're kind of in two groups here. So yeah, third and fourth are quite close. First and second are very close indeed. So there we go. So we just need to keep it going. We need to make sure that we do all the right expeditions and we just keep grabbing bits and bobs of reputation where we can. I would rather take on a, a little expedition that's easy that means we're guaranteed a point of reputation rather than take on a really hard one that might get us three or four points but then we're likely to fail yeah we're more likely to not succeed i'd rather just you know be play, play a bit safe and just grab the occasional points here and there um so yeah last time as well we bought various bits of land we've got land all over the place now so we've got all sorts of buildings we've got ourselves a casino and uh, i don't know whatever those things are what's that an exclusive club and a casino we've got the gin distillery which i'm pondering removing I'm pondering removing the gin distillery because none of our main sort of uh, main explorers are partial to a bit of gin. They like the tobacco, which is a terrible habit. Don't smoke kids, and uh, they like they like the um, the coffee, which again, you know, have tea. Everybody have tea, but your know, coffee is acceptable in this game, and that's it. So, um, so they don't redo really the gin. But then somebody in the comments did say you could keep the gin because this generates a unit of gin each time, and um, and use it to give to the press as gifts. And then they give you stuff, I think. I will admit to still being confused by the press bit, but that's fine. We'll, we'll just kind of keep rolling with it. And last time as well, as well as all these other things, we've got a hotel, which we need, training centre. This is the important thing we got. We got a museum. And the museum is very, very good because we can put our sort of little artifact things that we dig up into here and we can sort of cash them in and earn reputation for the amount of money that they're worth. So we want to save up a load of our artifacts, chuck them all into the museum and get a great big hit of reputation all in one. So now we've got somewhere for these things to go. Where I sort of, before we just stick them on the black market. We just go, yeah, that's it. We just chuck things on the black market. Now we can put them into our museum, which is very, very good. So we do have some things that we can put in right now, but I want to get some more. I want to acquire some more items just to make sure that we get you know, the maximum amount of reputation from when we actually do that. Okay, so let's get on with it, shall we? Let's just have a little look at what's going on. So, I mean, we got some new people, didn't we? We hired some new people. We got Edward Thompson, more sort of more management people going on. And then we got the very sort of lion-faced Arthur Evans there. I mean, come on, come on. He is very liony looking. At the age of seven, he had his own home and a job. Wow. Okay, good job, Arthur. Well done. <laughs> so yeah, so we've got quite a few new people on board. You know, these three all involved in management. This guy has fallen through time because <laughs> he does not look like he belongs in this age with his baseball hat on and his sort of, you know, regular sort of, what's that, like a polo shirt type thing. So, um, so yeah, we've got some new people as well. So let's have a look. What have we got this time? Get your facts straight history and combat capability. Then we've got ourselves linguistics. It's only one reputation again, but I'm fine with that. I'm okay with that. Or we've got tribal diplomacy, linguistics for two. I'd rather take this. I feel safer doing that. What do we get for that? That's two as well. Um, I think we're pretty good at linguistics. I think we're okay at linguistics. We did some of those before, didn't we? Um, can we buy something to help us with linguistics? A local translator. Yes, please. Plus seven as well. Yeah, we'll absolutely take that. Thank you very much. And do we have any items? Have we got stuff in storage? We've got quite a lot of gin and some tobacco. Can we buy some coffee? How expensive is it? Oh, it's very expensive. It's very expensive. We don't have too much money at the moment. Yeah, okay, fine. Do that then. Um, yeah, building the museum actually costs quite a lot of money. <laughs> so we're quite poor at the moment compared to what we have had. 
That's not very much money at all. But okay, so we've got some coffee. Um, yeah, let's do this one. Let's do this tribal diplomacy thing, because I think we're pretty good at that. Um, okay, right, so let's go and pick our people. So who is going to be good at doing the linguistics? 24, 26, or 37, you can go in. Uh, you've got 45, you can absolutely go in. You've got 35, you've got 18. Right, so we'll put you in provisionally. I think you're okay, aren't you? Yeah, you're 39, and then you've got 23. So 23, we're not even going to count that, that's rubbish. 23... 26 or 24 and she's quite good at quite a lot of other things as well she seems to be terrified of all of the things she's scared of everything <laughs> into like this fears box a bit bigger for her she can be scared of all of the things um but yeah we'll put you in anna Catania's roosevelt um and yeah what was your thing so you like coffee you like tobacco you like coffee you like tobacco so the decider is Tobacco. Okay, we'll take some tobacco on this particular thing because three people like that. Um, yeah, okay, good. Right, so next we will take ourselves the uh, tobacco and we will take ourselves the local translator. Um, ah, see, she's complaining she wants some coffee. No, I'm really sorry. There's no coffee. There is tobacco, though, if that's your thing. I don't think it is. Okay, right, we're ready to go. So let us go and see if we can get ourselves another two reputation. 4,200 minutes would be very lovely indeed. Um, also, if we could dig up an artifact or two, that would be great as well. Okay, the expedition is underway. They are working their way round, and it's just one person. I think you are the best, are you? 45. Yeah, so let's put you in, because we've got a greater chance of succeeding. So yes, please, and just a success. Not an amazing success, not a resounding success, just an ordinary success and oh, all botherations. Yeah, we need more than that. We need more stuff. Uh, right, three people linguistics, right? You've got 37. Who's got the lowest? You've got 26. We'll put you in as well, and then we'll put in Howard. So then we'll keep Leo at the end there, just so, because he's got quite a high linguistic. So hopefully that comes up as well. So we'll have a go here and a success. Lovely. And the last one is going to be Leo. Come on, Leo. Don't let us down. You can do this, Leo. I have faith in you whenever you get your challenge thing. And it's linguistics again. You're pretty good. Let's have a go. And you found an Egyptian mummy. Isn't that going to be worth a gazillion monies? Only worth that much for an Egyptian mummy. Really? I thought they would be worth many, many, many thousands of pounds. Okay, fine. Well, there we go. At least it's something. At least it's some money. If we want to sell it on the black market, we can make a bit of money off it if we're short. But we don't need to worry. We've got 4,200 monies and an artifact. Two points of reputation. Somebody's scared of whatever that is. Do you know what? If I saw that, I'd be scared of whatever that is. And broken bones as well, it seems. Okay, fine. But success. That's the main thing. Two reputation, also very important. There we go, 4,200 minutes and the reputation comes in. That makes that look far healthier, doesn't it? One unit of gin, okie dokie. 856 from the casinos. That is very welcome indeed, because yeah, we were losing some money from that the last couple of times. That's very nice indeed. That pays quite a few people's wages. That's lovely. Okay, yeah, 3,664 monies we pay in wages. That's that's quite a lot of money. But yeah, okay, we'll pay the salary. Um, yeah, we didn't bid on that bit of land. That's absolutely fine. Okay, coffee in the morning when you can't unseen something. I would not have coffee in the morning. I would have tea. Do you know who you're talking to? Now you know the secret. The truth is dreadful. Horror from your worst dream. The forgotten idea. The knowledge that everyone wants to unseen. And all of this is on you now. Why? Because you know the secret. You may be done with hell. Well, the hell is not done with you. There is no way to stop it. Or maybe there is. Arthur Evans is broken and he wants to release the secret. Is he the hairy man? Yeah, he's lion man. His mind can't stand such a burden. But people must not find out. Can you do the right thing? Or maybe you are just a little weakling, always ready to give up. Hang on, what? What is the secret? What's going on? I don't understand what's happening. So we can either dispose of Arthur Evans and keep this secret for yourself or surrender and release the secret. <laughs> I don't know what this means. What is the secret? It says, now you know the secret. I, I really don't. I don't understand what the secret is. Um, so the choice is, he's broken. He wants to release the secret. His mind can't stand it. Um, people must not find out. Can you do the right thing? So either I tell people what the secret is, or I have to get rid of Arthur Evans, who's seemingly quite good, and he's got like a lion face and a mane and everything. But I'm a bit concerned that if I 
let go of the secret, I'm going to lose reputation, which seems a bit harsh because I don't really know what's going on with this. Um, or do we surrender and release the secret? I, I don't really know. Always ready to give up. Joe, well, let's just do this. I want to keep Arthur Evans on board. This is going to cost us reputation. I'm fairly sure. So there we go. All explorers now have hauntophobia and all explorers are addicted to coffee. Oh, no. All explorers addicted to coffee and now have rhabdophobia. I don't know what I don't know what those are. What's hauntophobia and rhabdophobia? Okay, a quick visit to everybody's friend Google. Apparently, hauntophobia is a sort of a generic fear of haunted houses, and rhabdophobia is a fear of magic. Okay, so our explorers have got some very obscure kind of fears there. But there we go. I mean, yeah, only the ones that are addicted to coffee are now scared of magic, which is a bit weird. But okay, I mean that could have gone better. It could have gone a lot worse. Right, okay. Do you know one thing we haven't done throughout this whole thing is write a letter. I don't know what this does. Let's click the button. Select a letter type. Offensive, threatening, or congratulatory. Well, let's send a congratulatory letter to Charles. Oh, can we come out of this? Actually, right. Has he taken over as in the thing? He's on, he's on 28. Okay. Did he fail to get something that time? Um, no, he got one, I think, didn't he? He must have got one and we got two. Okay, do you know what? Let's send him a nice letter, because I'm nice like that. So let's send him a lovely letter. Oh, we actually do do this. Um, hello, hello there. <laughs> we just write it all. Um, okay, you have done a good job. Um, smile a bit. You have, oh no, I can't type. You have a stern face and it would look good with a beamy <laughs> smile. Um, yours, uh, I don't know, yours, um, uh, splendidly, penge cupboard, penge cupboard, uh, cupboard for cupboard, da, 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 and kiss, 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 because why not? There we go, we'll send him a little letter. So there we go, I don't know if that cost us any money or not. It might have done, but we've sent him a letter. <laughs> And what does that do? I've got no idea. Uh, okay, right. Expeditions. Search of wisdom. History gets us three reputation. Quite a lot of money for that. Archaeology. Yeah, we might be okay with that. That does it terrify. We're going out on a boat. Okay, but that's fine. Or just archaeology. Oh, that's going to be really hard. That is going to be super hard for the reward. Um, we do quite a lot of money for it. Okay, I'm more tempted by this one here. It does need six explorers, though. Archaeology linguistics and we're not too good at history so archaeology linguistics or just archaeology okay right who's gonna go and what are we gonna go for okay i think we've got a team i think i've got an idea of the team that we're going to have let's pop over to the merchant company anything to with archaeology or linguistics a whisk broom yeah we'll take one of those for 155 i have a sneaking suspicion we might have one of those that's exploration that is history that could be handy for taking on a history one just buy one of those anyway a mobile library yeah okay we'll have one of those um so yeah we're gonna go for this one i'm i'm a little bit i'm a little bit too too afraid of doing this i think that's going to be very very hard so we need six explorers to have a go at this so we get two uh two reputation out of it and five thousand minutes which is very nice um so let's have a go at this let's see what we can do so starting at the end we're definitely going to take you because you're good. So we've got archaeology and linguistics. You're quite good at both of those. Um, she's very good at both. You're very good at both. So we've already got half the people. Um, Howard is very good at both. Uh, Leo is good at linguistics. Not so good at archaeology, but we'll try and make sure he gets put onto a linguistics at sort a of challenge. And then we have one more. I mean, Fred's very good at archaeology. Fred is brilliant at archaeology. In fact, yeah, do you know what? We'll take Fred. So we'll take Fred along and go to next. And we want to take with us the, where is it? The whisk broom. Oh yeah, we did have one of those. We'll take one of those with us. And we are going to take coffee because yeah, this guy here is saying he wants to smoke some cigarettes, but it's a kind of even split really. So I think coffee will do the job for some of our people. And we haven't got cigarettes anyway, but yeah, coffee will do, I think. Um, okay, so here we go. Let's, let's fingers crossed that we actually do this because uh, yeah, we're still only just ahead of our sort of nearest rival who we've written a nice letter to though so hopefully he likes that um so yeah let's see let's see how we get on and the first thing that's popped up very very soon is archaeology just on its own so who's got the best 33 37 37 howard i think has the best um and also yeah we'll get howard howard are you boosted oh no you're not okay well howard anyway you're probably the best one to do it 
it's a success. It's not a, it's not a roaring success. We don't get any shiny goodies from it, but a success is a success. Absolutely. Exploration. Well, they've thrown that one in. Right, 38, 29, 32, 19 or 21. We might have to use you, even though you're pretty good at some other things, but you've got an exploration of 38. So let's put you in, and we have found a Bronze Age clay roller. I don't know what that is. Um, okay, well, not worth loads, but better than nothing. Better than a kick in the teeth. Okay, that was a bit of a random one, wasn't it? That was exploration. Okay, linguistics once again. 37, 45, 39 or 23. Let's put Leo in, because he's not very good at other things. So we might as well use his linguistics abilities just here. And a success. Good job. Is it all going to be individual challenges? Or are we going to get a bit of a mix at some point? Oh, here we go. Combat capability. <laughs> oh, right. And linguistics. Right. Well, you can definitely go in, because you're good. Uh, combat and linguistics. 23 and 31. Hang on, what was this one? Um, so you're in. Oh, hang on a minute. Time's running out. 23 and 31, or 37 and 31. He's quite good at some other bits and bobs. So yeah, we'll put her in and have a go at that. That's a success. So now it's just down to Fred. Although I think we should be okay. I think we're okay. And you've got archaeology. Fortunately, you're quite good at that, Fred. <laughs> that was more luck than judgment. And there we go. We passed all of those. So yeah, I would expect nothing but a successful thing here. Which means that... Um, Okay, so we get an artifact, we've got 5,000 money, we've got two reputation, we've picked up a fear of books and weird, terrifying monster fruit. Okay, but the main thing is that, yes, it's a success and we've got money and reputation. Yay! Your letter did not achieve the expected result. Why ever not? It was a really nice letter. And I said he would have a nice smile if he were to smile a bit more. That's a bit mean. Okay, never mind. Uh, right, we got the money, which is good. Um, one unit of gin. Right, you are. 911 money from the casinos. Good job. Right, we'll pay the salaries. Just leave us with a little bit left as well. Uh, yeah, we didn't bid on the thing because we haven't really got enough money to bid. After last expedition, you and Leo Frobenius. Yeah, I like him. He looks good. Um, end up in a pub. The evening progresses, and in between drinks he started talking about philosophy. It seems the topic is relevant to your employee's life or family. Namely, there was a convict waiting for punishment, death by hanging, within seven days. But the judge didn't reveal the day when it was going to happen, because it should be a surprise for the prisoner. The victim replied that it's illogical, Sunday isn't a surprising day of the week, because he will know a day before when it's going to happen. If it isn't, then Sunday is no surprise too. The prison would know on Friday that execution is due tomorrow. The same goes to Friday and any other day. Finally, it seems to him he shouldn't die. However, the court decided to hang him on Wednesday. The question is, was it a good or a bad decision? I've no idea what any of that means. I, I, I don't know. I don't understand. <laughs> was it a good or bad decision? Wednesday is a good choice in this situation or no, it's contradictory. I have absolutely no idea what to answer with this. I don't understand this at all. Sunday isn't a surprising day of the week because he, know, he will know a day before when it's going to happen. Will he? Why, why Sunday? I don't... Um, I'm just going to say, no, it's contradictory. I don't understand. I'm just going to pick the blue one. Yay, blue one. His attitude um, is precarious and it's locked. Okay, however will we cope with that terrible state of affairs? Okay, fine. That was a bit weird. Right, we didn't do a press thing, did we? Right, I think, yeah, we've, we did some. We've locked something with them. I'm not entirely sure what we've done with them. Let's share our story with some people, shall we? I've no idea what this does again. We'll share our story. Yay, popularity's gone up a bit, which is good. Can we go to the chess club and talk to this chap here? Can we give him a gift? Can we send him some gin? Yay, have some gin. There we go. <laughs> we sent them some gin. I don't know what it does, but you have some gin. Um, and can we now, can we go to property management? Again, I don't think we should bid on anything. I don't feel confident buying stuff right now because we don't have enough money. We're going to spend quite a lot of money on buying a bit of land. And then if we get that, then we need to buy someone in to actually look after it. And then we need to build a thing on it and all that kind of stuff. I think we do have a bit of land with nothing on. Headhunter Temples is super fertile and we own it, but we can't afford to build anything on it and hire anyone right now. If we had a massive pile of money, then yes, I would feel much happier doing so. Um, right, where's the um, where's the hotel, the museum? Sorry, there it is. Right, can we get this in? So we need 1,302. That's gone down a little bit, I think. So chuck that in. That's 3,000. So what do we want to get? 3,906. Can we do that? So hang on. Right, so send that in. That's 3,000. That's 
500. That's, oh, is it going to be enough? Uh, yes, there. There we go. So 1,302 money is for one point of reputation. So 1,003 to 1,302, 2,604, and then 3,906. So we should get three points of reputation from putting those things into our museum. So send or exchange. What do we do? Exchange artifacts for reputation. What does send do then? I don't know what send does. Do we just get the money for it? And then there's no black market thing. We'll exchange. So we should get quite a chunk of reputation from this. So yeah, what are we on? Just about to see it there. 32, I think it says. So we exchange that, we receive three points. And we're up to 35. Okay, that's very good. Oh, that, that's paid out quite nicely indeed. Right, okay, so we've got 35. Right, how near is Chappie? He's on 28. He has completely stalled. We've got a seven-point lead on him now. Haha, <laughs> take that. It was the letter. It was the letter that we wrote of his. Put him off. Um, okay, wonderful. Right, we won't do anything else with all that kind of stuff. Okay, let's pick an expedition. What are we going to do? I think we're going to have to go for this one. The other ones are a bit hard. One is a combat one that requires eight people, which I don't think is even worth going for. And one is one that requires combat and something else. Um, so this is the only one really that seems feasible. And we're not that good at history either. But I think we're just going to have to sort of wing it a bit. So who have we got that's any good at history? So 37, 29. So Fred's okay. Um, Austin's okay. Right, so we've got at least three people. He's not very good, is he, that guy? Um, she's okay. He's not brilliant, is he? So we do have some people that are okay. So, right, could we get... Leo, can we, can we train you up in history? No, unfortunately not. Can we train anybody up that was a little bit low? Uh, like you. Can we train you in history? No, of course we can't. We can't train anybody in history. You? No. Okay, fine. You're quite good. Can we train you in history? No. Okay, never mind. So we're going to take certain people. So coffee, tobacco, um, tobacco, oh, coffee and tobacco. Right, I think tobacco seems to be the order of the day. So let's go and grab some tobacco for what seems like a gazillion pounds. And then we're doing a history one. We already got the little history cart thing, didn't we? So we should be okay to do this now. I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, the unfortunate thing is we can't go through and train everybody like we did before because we don't have the money anymore. We pay so much money on wages. We don't. I don't feel like we have that much left just in case one of our expeditions goes horribly wrong and we don't get paid. Then, yeah, we're going to lose, what, 3,300 and I don't want to blow all our money on training people to then not be able to sort of pay them next time round. So, um, yeah, for the minute, we can't retrain really people up, which is unfortunate. But OK, right. So let's go to the end. So uh, history 34, you uh, will take Howard's pretty good at history, isn't he? 39 uh, will take uh, Fred's pretty good, 37. So we've got 29, 30, 27, 28 or 22. Oh, dear. Uh, right, okay, so 29 and 30, I think, are the best ones. So 27, 28, and 22. Yeah, okay, right. Again, not not the best squad we've ever put together, but it will do the job. Um, oh, hang on, did I just take Fred out? Yes, I did. Right, put Fred back in, and then we will take ourselves a... U oh, hang on, got a university assistant or a mobile library. Is that better? Which adds more? What does that do? That's plus five. Uh, undo that, please. That was plus seven, wasn't it? Oh, absolutely. We'll take that, and then we'll take ourselves the tobacco. Okay, and there you go. Leo wants to have a little, a little cigarette, which you shouldn't do. It's a terrible habit, Leo. But okay, for the sake of this, then yes, let's get underway and see how we do. Okay, they've gone past a castle. They've gone past whatever that is, and then a kind of crazy face. Right, history. I think was it you the best? No, was was it Fred the best? Okay, Howard was the best, and my phone just decided to start talking to me and scared me much. But okay, right, so Howard for history. There we go. Apologies for the terrible sort of cut in that there. Um, yeah, I must have said something that triggered my uh, sort of uh, Google thing on my phone to just spring into life, and she just started talking to me. Oh, dear. Right, okay, good. He at least succeeded in that. There we go. Right, past a bone, and then a Stonehenge type thing. Okay, what have we got next? It's going to be multiple people, isn't it, this? Right, two histories, so 34, 29, 30. So we'll take Fred, and then we'll take someone who's not quite as good. How about Fred and Leo? 
part of the original crew. We'll put you two in and a ruthless success. We found Pyramidion. Oh my goodness me, that is worth a heck of a lot of monies. And we could put that on the black market to make some money, just to make an, a bit of easy, you know, quick cash. Is this going to be a two-person effort at the end? Yeah. Okay. Oh, both history. Okay. Bash, bam, bash. And let's see how you get on. And it's a success. Wow. We're doing very well. We're doing very well at these things there. Okay. Lovely. And a success. Someone got a fear of being smacked about the head with a baseball bat. 4,100 money and two reputation and a little sort of floaty pyramid thing. And I got scared <laughs> by my phone just decided to talk to me very loudly in the middle of this. Okay, lovely. Well, there we go. Right, let's get back on the train and go home. Okay, so the wage bill thing has come up first, but we can afford to pay it right now, which is good. So we'll pay the salary now. Now our money looks a little bit sad. But then we got, ah, 555 from the casinos. Lovely. And then we got the money from that and the reputation. So that looks a bit healthier all of a sudden. We didn't bid on the land because I can't really afford it. As a member of the Royal Archaeology Institute, you have access even to prohibited collections, libraries, and specimens. You and your explorers, Kathleen Kenyon, uh, hang on, what? You and your explorers, Kathleen Kenyon, have spent... Oh, there's a full stop there. Uh, uh, the explorer, Kathleen Kenyon, I think it means. Uh, I've spent some time reading forbidden books to find out more about new expeditions. However, these books aren't forbidden for no reason. Kathleen Kenyon has been behaving oddly for a few days. It's just some details, like drinking coffee only with a spoon, or getting up always before sunrise. Should you be concerned? Nah, it's fine. Let her read the forbidden books. She's got bibliophobia. I assume she is now scared of books. I'm going to assume that's a fear of books, which is a very silly fear, but there you go. And um, plus one expedition point. Lovely. And we got a unit of gin. Okay, let's go over to here then. I mean, do we want to share our story again? We can give licenses to them now as well. And these guys here. Um, I really don't understand this bit at all. Let's just give them our license. Uh, it's boring. Okay, <laughs> fine. <laughs> can we share it? We can't do that. Can we go to the chess club and can we give this man some gin? I don't know what I'm doing with this anymore. It was sent and now it's gone dark. I don't really get the press bit. I don't fully understand what the point of it is. It seems to have no bearing on anything. I don't really get it. Um, okay, right. Well, there we go. That's that sorted then. We could, we could, hang on. Property management is our museum. Where is our museum? In the in the, the lovely sounding howling swamps. Um, what if we just chucked that in? What if we send that over for 5,000 monies? Is that... Hang on, what's that? 4,300... Hang on, what if we put that over as well? Uh, hang on, now I've got to do work in my head to work this out. 1,302 is... So two of that is 2, 6. And then it's 3, 9. And then it's 5, 2... Oh, we're just short by a number of pounds. So, Joe, you know what? We'll keep that, though. We need one more little thing. One thing. And then we can get ourselves another load of reputation from there. That's very, very nice indeed. Okay, that's good. We have got ourselves still quite a lot of money. We also have four expeditions to choose from now. Unpleasant territory into the jungle. Uh, search of wisdom again or secure the perimeter. Yeah, that was that was the quite tough fighty one. And that's only got one reputation now. Um, okay, let's have a little look and see what suits us best. Okay, we're going to have a go at this one. I know it's not exactly the best in terms of money and our reward, but it's safe and I think we're okay at the moment. We're not sort of quite so close anymore in our race. So what we need to do is we need to go to the merchant company. We need to buy some coffee. So yes, please. I'd love to be able to get our coffee plantation thing set up. That'd be so, so handy. I wonder if, I wonder if, do you know what? Let's have a look at this. We don't need the gin. We don't need the gin distillery thing. I don't really care about that. So where is the gin distillery? Valkyrie Pass. Can we just sell this? I don't want this. Can we unassign the manager and then get rid of this? And then over on Headhunter Temples, we could then get ourselves a coffee plantation thing set up, assign this guy as the head of that, and then we can get our own coffee growing. Because we use coffee a heck of a lot more than we do gin. We just keep giving the gin away for, for seemingly no reason. <laughs> that newspaper guy just keeps getting loads of gin from us. Oh, brilliant. Wow, aren't they nice? Anyway, right, let's ignore them. So how about we do this? So can we unassign the manager? I suppose we could sell the land he gets unassigned anyway. So if we sell this, 
Fully says like, oh, please unassign the manager. Okay, that's one turn. I can cope with that. Right, unassign the manager. Yes, we need to sort of do the paperwork. Okay, right, do that and then sell the land. Oh, crikey. Right, we have to do that next time. Do we? Okay, he's still being unassigned. Okay, fine, right. Um, let's go back to here then. Okay, so let's begin this. So we know that he is going to come. Of course he's going to come, but look at him. Look at his square jaw. So we'll have you. You're pretty good. You're pretty kind of combaty, which is very impressive. Um, oh, hang on. Hang on. Have we got any items? Hang on. Hang on to the warehouse. Have we got any fighting items? No, we haven't. Merchant Company. Have we got anything for combat? Archaeology, geology, and exploration. No. Okay. We've got nothing of any use. Okay. Never mind. Um, right. Back to this then. So you, definitely. Her, definitely. She's got 31. Right, this guy's okay. He's got 39. Howard's pretty good. Howard's got 40. I think Austin Layard's got quite a lot. He's got 49. And we need one more. Leo, not so much. So 26, 31, or 31. But I think who's better? Is, she, is he better or is she better? I think she's better. I think Kathleen is a better overall sort of person. So, okay, so we'll have that and we will have ourselves. We've got loads of gin. <laughs> we'll have the coffee and um, should we just take some gin with us? We can't take any of these items with us, really, because we don't know if they're going to help or not. We'll just take some gin as well. Someone might like some gin. I'm not entirely sure. I think Fred drinks gin. Um, yeah, okay, right. Let's do this one and have a little trip again. Okay, here it comes. So the first one, combat capability. We want to pick the person who's got the most. I think that is Austin. He's got 49, hasn't he? So we'll put you in. Hopefully you'll be fine. Success, lovely. Yeah, we want to find another artifact. Just one more artifact. We can put that into the museum and we'll get loads of reputation from it. Right, we'll put Arthur in and then we'll put someone in who's not as good at combat. Who's the least? Right, Kathleen, you go in with Arthur because he's good. He can offset your sort of slight lack of skill in that. And we found a Greek theatre mask. That's, en that's enough. I think that's enough. That will do the job <laughs> just fine. Thank you. Right, so now it's going to be a single one again. Combat capability, 46, 39 or 40. Let's put her in just to make sure we get the pass on it. Right, good. Now these last ones, are they going to be combat or are they going to be other ones? I do not know. That's combat capability as well. Um, so let's put Thomas in because he's got 39, which is pretty good. Success. And I think we've done it. I think we've got it sorted, but we'll just keep going through. And combat capability with a plus. So it's a good job we kept him because he's a bit he's a bit better at it. And you, a success. Resounding success all over again, which was brilliant. We've done very well this time. We've done very, very well indeed. Don't get too much money from it. Only a point of reputation, and now somebody is <laughs> somebody is scared of houses. Okay, bit strange. Uh, we did get these artifacts, though, and they might be really useful at getting us another big reputation boost with our museum. So, yeah, let's go and take a look. Of course, we have to do all this stuff first. So, yeah, we got paid the money and all the stuff. Uh, we didn't actually go for any land. That's absolutely fine. We got some more gin. Okie dokie. We got 232 from the casino, so not absolutely loads. Do you remember how Fred Dustin saved the expedition from a failure? Um, yes, I got him a gift last time out, didn't I? And do you remember how you bought him a gift? And it was something like £32 or something. I thought it was going to be really expensive. You've been visited by one of these greenhorn collectors who asks you if the crystal skull is real or not. This person tells you that some glazier vouches for its authenticity. According to your visitor, the craftsman said that it's a true artifact discovered by Penge Cupboard during one of his expeditions. That's scandalous. Your items always end up in a museum or a charity event. The insinuation that you gave freely the same artifact, because that's what they imply, is rubbish. A public announcement will damage your good name, but you can still deal with this glazier quietly. So buy the fake artifact and deal with it quietly, or sue the crook. So if we sue him, he's going to drag our name to the mud. We could just buy the fake artifact, but how much is the fake artifact? If he's, again, this is one of the things where I want more information. If he's going to say, I'll sell it you for 100 quid, we go, yeah, all right, fine, I've got quite a bit. If he says, I'll sell it to you for 6,000 pounds, then no, I don't want to do that. I think we, given that reputation is what we're kind of going for, let's let's just buy the thing and just deal with it quietly. 150 pounds, few, yeah, that's absolutely fine. And then we'll pay everybody's salaries, 3,914 monies. Okay. Can we now sell the thing where the gin is? Just there. 
So can we now sell this? Sell this land for £1,032. Yes, please. Lovely. So we sell that. Don't really care. And then Headhunter Temples. How much is it to build a coffee plantation? It's, it's cheap. 238 monies. So fertility, loads of that. And then Manager's Geology. Okay. Well, we'll just sort of pop that down there. We'll assign the manager of... I mean, it was you. What's your geology like? 18. It's terrible. We'll put you in for now. Managers can't participate in expeditions. Yes, I know. So we'll put you in there. And then can we go to you, my good sir? Can we click on you? Can, we, can you learn geology? Of course you can't. Um, bother. Okay, never mind. Never mind. We can't, we can't do any of that. He was left at home alone during the holidays. <laughs> <laughs> twice ah oh dear what are the chances um okay right we'll do the press then we'll just share our story because well, there we go everyone loves the story that's doing some stuff uh we'll give we'll give this guy some some more gin <laughs> just like why do they keep sending me gin i don't know what's going on um and yeah I, I, yep yeah, okay good and we have three expeditions in fact how many are we on 21 out of 30 oh yeah we're absolutely rocking through this aren't we we're doing very well indeed. Um, okay, expeditions. Let's see what we've got. Um, oh, okay. We're going to have a game of chess. Okay. Oh, my goodness. That's very good. History and linguistics. So there. Yeah, okay, fine. History. One reputation. Or linguistics. Yeah, I think we'll end up doing this one because we know we're okay at linguistics. Um, can we buy a thing to help us with linguistics? A local translator for 271 monies. Thank you very much. And... Because we've got a little bit of money, we'll buy we'll buy coffee for now, and we'll also buy a tobacco as well. We'll just get that sort of in stock, and then next time out, hopefully, we should get our own coffee. Hopefully, maybe, possibly. I don't know. I don't know if that guy's good enough to grow the coffee. But okay, so let's go for let's go for which one was it? No, no, not that one. Which one was it? Tribal diplomacy. Yeah, linguistics. Let's go for this. So our five people again. I don't think he's that good, is he? Twenty four. 26, sorry, 37, yes, please. You're really good. You're really good, Thomas. Howard's got 35, so we'll take you. Um, Austin, 18. Leo, 39. Fred, 23. So Fred's got 23. Austin's rubbish at 18. And she's got 26, and he's got 24. Um, let's, take, let's take her. Let's take her on board. She's got some other good skills. And then we will take the local translator and we'll take some coffee as well. And away we go. Okay, it is underway. They've gone past a tree. They've gone through a desert. It's basic sort of super linguistic. So yeah, it's not complicated. So yeah, he's got the most, I think, 45. Yeah, so Thomas, in you go. Hopefully you can succeed. Splendid. Okay, there we go. Go past whatever that is. And some pots, very important. We go past the pots. A regular linguistics check. So maybe we just put someone in who's not particularly brilliant. So we've got, I mean, we could put her in, but we might get like combat capabilities or something come up. Um, let's put her in anyway. It's not a tricky one. She's only got 26. Let's see if she can actually do this. Okay, right. She has succeeded. That is brilliant. That gives us hope for the rest of it. So let's see what they do. They're going past all sorts. Survival and linguistics. Oh, bother. Ah, right. She can go in because she's very good. Um, he's got 26. He's got 32. You wouldn't think he would be better at survival than that guy, but there you go. Um, oh, it's only one person. Oh, I thought it was two people. Okay, yeah, she can go in. Success. Yeah, I thought it was two people. Got that a bit wrong. Is it all one person each time then? Yes. Linguistics. Uh, he's got 39. You've got 35. Let's put you in, and then we'll keep you for the final one, because that might be a bit harder. So success. And the last one, I think, is... Is the last one always a plus challenge a slightly difficult one yeah linguistics plus it's got to be you and yeah success again we've succeeded on every single one again go us okay there we go right another one done we get money we get reputation no artifacts this time but never mind and a number of fears um yeah they're scared of beetles again and indeed as we saw before somebody has become scared of like you know three person fencing teams but okay right on board the train we get the money, we get the reputation, very, very lovely. We got one unit of coffee. Yes, we are now getting our own coffee. So we don't have to buy it anymore. That's wonderful news. 332 from the casinos, pay everybody's wages. 
We didn't buy the land. And the philosophy at night crocodile. You're again in the pub with Leo Frobenius. Leo, I didn't understand what you were talking about last time. It was really complicated. Put it into simple terms, please. <laughs> nice big words, three words per page with pictures. You're talking about the last expedition in which you participated. As it turns out, your employee doesn't want to talk about what happened during the journey. Luckily, alcohol makes it easier to discuss the uneasy topic. Your interlocutor I think that's the person you're talking with, isn't it? Mentions a dilemma to deal with, but without any names, they're replaced by symbols. Let's say a kid was kidnapped by a crocodile. This creature gives parents a chance to save the child if they guess correctly what is going to happen to the young human being. Even though you're not completely sober, you imagine the parents are explorers, the crocodile means danger, and the kid symbolises a valuable item. What answer should they choose to rescue their offspring? The child will be eaten by a crocodile, the child will be returned to its parents. Hang on, what's the child again? The child is a valuable item. So the child is going to be returned to its parents or the child will be eaten by the crocodile. What answer should they choose to re rescue their offspring? The child will be returned to its parents? I think that's what it's supposed to be. So his attitude has got risky. Okay. <laughs> right. Good? Was that good? I don't know. Let's go and do this obligatory press stuff. I don't know what's going on here. Yay! Right, we've got some popularity. We still haven't got any reputation gained from this whole press malarkey. Um, and you, we'll just keep... We'll just, we'll just keep sending you gin. Just have all of our gin. Yes, take the gin, please. We don't use it for anything else. Uh, okay. I'd love to have some money to go and um, sort of uh, expand people's knowledge and, you know, get them some more skills and stuff. But... I just don't think we can. I don't think we're earning the amount of money that we need. If we had 10,000 monies at this point, I would feel more confident, but not even 4,000. Yeah, our wages are 3,003. So we can afford currently one failed expedition, and that is it. So yeah, it's a bit risky to sort of splash our cash at the moment, I feel. So let's go and have a look at what there is. Secure the perimeter is... Oh, that's seven combat people. That's really tough. Beyond the world is exploration so i don't know how good we are at that or not or tribal diplomacy again is linguistics it's a bit trickier we get five grand for it though merchant company is there anything to help us with linguistics oh no there really isn't have we got anything in the warehouse for linguistics oh botherations no no we have not that is unfortunate okay I'm kind of thinking we should go for this one, but let's just look at I mean, how good are our people at exploration? How good are they at that? And yeah, we're not going to do that one. So, OK, let's just check how good they are at exploration. Do you know what? They're mostly rubbish. All the people sort of at the start of it. So Fred and Leo and Austin and Howard, they're all terrible at exploration. So we can't really muster a team of decent people. It's only these three that have got vaguely good stats. 29, 38 and 41. There's three. Thomas has got 32, but everybody else is just, is just dreadful. So never mind. Never mind. We're definitely not going to do that one then. So we're, so yes, it's going to be doing tribal diplomacy again with linguistics, but with no boost this time. We've got no little boost thingamajig. Um, so, OK, right. Let's begin. So the ones with linguistics. I don't think it's him, is it? 24, uh, 26, right. 37. Yes, please. You've got 45. I think Howard's okay, 35. Austin, no. Uh, Leo, yes. And Fred. So Fred's got 23. She's got 26. He's got 24. Let's pick her and then go on to next. And then what we'll do is we'll take a tobacco and a coffee just to make sure that everybody is boosted. I don't know. No, Fred drinks gin, doesn't he? Fred drinks gin. But I think between all of them, I think most of them like these two. So... Yeah, that'll do. That will absolutely do the job. Okay, right. So now let's go exploring once again. Exploration stuff is happening and it is a linguistics challenge. Let's put Thomas in for that one. So he's got his coffee, so he should be a little bit more sort of, you know, pumped up for this sort of thing. So yes, we'll begin that and it's a success. Lovely. Very good indeed. We go past an animal thingamajigger and some sort of stock market diagram. Uh, history. Oh, 28... 39, 29, or 34. Uh, what's our main thing? Linguistics. Well, she's not that good. Let's put her in. Let's put her in. See if we do okay on that. Success. Good. Okay, so she wasn't that good at linguistics. 
So maybe now if the rest of my linguistics ones, then we'll be okay. A regular linguistics, so 35, 39, 37. Let's put Howard in for that one. That's a success as well. Our people are absolutely rocking it. Past the castle, past Stonehenge. Another linguistics, so 37, 39. We'll put Kathleen in. And she's found Shabti, which is no bad thing. Lovely. So a nice shiny trinket for us to take back with us. And coming through here, we have no choice but to pick you a Leo. A mummy portrait. Okay. Right, okay. That doesn't look like a mummy portrait. Okay, but that's fine. Our mummy's you know, wrapped up with bandages and stuff. Okay, fine. So that is a little bit more money going in. Okay, that's good. And then we come round to the end. And we are sorted. Somebody's scared of ghosts. Fair enough. That's fine. Five grand, two reputation, two shiny trinkets as well. That was pretty good. Dangerous habit. Okay, so the first thing to pop up is the little sort of story thing. Last expedition, right. Quite a success, obviously. However, Kathleen Kenyon's attitude has changed. There must have happened something dreadful. She returned with a new friend to keep her mind clear. Yes, you guessed correctly. It's opium. Okay, that's probably bad. Nothing to worry about, only small doses. It is something to worry about. It's bad. And it's not illegal, at least not for now. It could be devastating for her body in the long run. On the other hand, there is a possibility that it helps her with her mental problems after the last expedition. Can we agree that someone has to pay the price for success? Should you act? Maybe opium prohibition will be a good idea. But who knows how it will affect others. The forbidden fruit is always the sweetest one. We will prohibit that. I don't know why that's got a massive long button to it. <laughs> that one hasn't. We'll prohibit it. That can't be a good thing. That can't be a good thing. She's going to get grumpy about this, isn't she? She's going to get all sorts of things going on. She's going to be very cross with us. Her attitude... Okay, I've driven her insane. Okay, <laughs> maybe we need to go and look at that and make her less insane. That might be quite advisable. Um, casinos have lost £16. I can cope with the loss of £16. We'll pay everybody. We've just about got the money. Three, six it is now. So pay the salaries. We didn't get the land. We got five grand for you and one unit of coffee. Hurrah! That's very good indeed. Well, hang on. Quarters. Kathleen. Kathleen, you've gone insane. Can you make... Can we get more secure? There we go. Right. What are you now? You're precarious rather than insane. Okay, that's good. Is anybody else insane? Do we need to sort of sort people's attitudes out? Has anybody gone a little bit insane on their travels? Uh, risky and neutral and precarious. Okay, right. Everyone's attitude is looking pretty good. Uh, okay, let's go and do this press thing. Let's share the story again. We'll just do that. Hey, popularity is rising, but we still gain a reputation. <laughs> Okie dokie. And um, let's go over to now here. And where was that thing again? Was it the Headhunter Temples? No. Howling Swamps. There we go. So now let's see, what can we put over here now? So we can chuck that in. That's fine. Oh, send just moves it over. Oh, that's what it does. Yes, of course, send moves it over. Okay, so five grand. So 1,302. So we need 5,000. Send that over and that over. Send that over and send that over. Now, I don't think that and that are going to be worth anything right now. Right, hang on. Right, I need, I need to deploy... Uh, modern technology, just to do some number crunching, because, uh, yeah, my maths is, is woeful. So, maths with penge, but I'm using a calculator. So, um, 1,302 plus that. So, we'd get, yeah, so 2,604. So, then we get plus 1,302 again. So, we get 3,906. So, we get three reputation. So, plus 1,302 again. 5,208 we'd need, 5,275 we have reached. So if we exchange all those things and pop them into our lovely museum, we should get another four reputation. I think that's well worth doing. Yeah, let's do that. Exchange that, four points of reputation, yes. We're on 46, that's very good. Oh, I'm very happy with that. Let's just have a quick check. Quick look, 46, away with you, cuppy. Stop it with your tails. Just provide us with lovely, lovely tea. 46 we've got. She's got 24. He's got 42. Oh, so he has, he's crept up a great deal. Hang on, didn't he, did he peter out at one point? He was really level at one point. What's going on there? Um, so yeah, he's got 42. So yeah, okay, right. We're not quite as in the lead. In fact, hang on, he would have been completely level with us until just then, when we just 
added four to our score by the museum. Oh, crikey. Okay. Hang on, he's got 39? He's he's rocketed up. Oh, look at that. It's a meteoric rise up there. Good grief. Okay, and now she's... Yeah, okay, so Madame Vanessa is very much last. Absolutely last. And then, yeah, he's got 39. He's not that far off second. Uh, yeah, he's only seven points off us in the lead. Oh, crikey. Okay. Um, let's get... What have we got? Round 23. Um, does that mean we've done round 23? Does that mean we've completed that one or not now? No. Okay, so we're on round 23. The last round that was complete was round 22. So, yes, the next round is going to be 23. So how many would that make left? Seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I oh, know eight, of course, because we have the 23rd. Let's do one more then. Let's get round 23 covered. So let's have a look at what we actually have available. So an archaeology one. We're actually not too bad at that. We're okay at the archaeology. So we could go for that one. Combat capability. Um, again, it's an easy one. But And another combat capability one. Do you know what? I'm pretty confident that we're okay with archaeology. We're okay with that. Have we got an item to help us? Yes. We have a whisk broom, which gives us plus five. Does the merchant company offer us anything else? That's geology. That's survival. That's expression. No. Okay. Um, okay, right. We know what we're doing then. So we are going to uh, go and do an archaeological expedition. We get quite a lot of money for that as well. That's going to be quite nice. If we can actually pull this off, that's going to be great. Okay, so archaeology. Who is the best? She's got 37. He's got 37. You've got 39. You've only got 25. You've got 19. You've got 39, Fred. You're a bit of a dark horse on the old archaeology there. Um, so who... Oh, no, hang on. No, no, I didn't mean to... Let's get rid of you. So who have we got? 19. Terrible. 25. 33 or 31. Okay. Anna, you can come with us. Uh, coffee, sugar, tobacco, coffee, tobacco, and gin. Okay, right. So it's... Yeah, we, we can't cater for everybody's needs. Okay. Fine. So we will take with us the coffee because we grow it and we will take with us the whisk broom to give us plus five to archaeological results. And um, yeah, let's set off to wherever we set off. I don't know where we go. I'm entirely sure where we go. We just sort of go to a place somewhere. But here we go. Right, let's get on the train or a boat or whatever and go and have a little explore. Okay, past a terrifying kind of face thing, past a, whatever that is, like an Easter Island statue, past the pyramids two people to do archaeology. Okay, right, he's very good. He's got 37, and you've got 39. Do we put both our best people in at the start? And what's she got? 37, you've got 39, and you've got 33. Do you know what? We'll put two good people in, and we failed. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is this going to all go wrong? That's the first thing we have failed in absolutely ages. Oh no, that's going to be hugely significant, isn't it? Right, archaeology, just a person that can do some of this. How about we put you in, Kathleen? You're in the middle. I think we keep Fred to the end. We'll put Kathleen in. So let's have a go with you. Oh, unforgettable failure. This is going to go horribly wrong, isn't it? She learned plus three archaeology. Yay! <laughs> We're not going to succeed this. I think, we've, I think we've dashed our chances already. I think it's going to be a dismal dismal failure. Oh, and it's the last two of archaeology and she's not even that good. Come on, Fred. You can do it, Fred. A success. I think overall, that's going to have gone horribly wrong. Unless that last one was particularly tricky. I think we failed that one. That's a disaster. Oh, no reputation. No artifacts. Hardly any money. And now people are now scared of ropes and fire and ladders. The terror of a ladder. Or is it a slide in a park? I don't know, but whatever the case. Oh, that was terrible. We put in some really good people there as well. We put in some good people into that with good numbers. Okay, there we go. A miserable failure. Oh no, does that mean we've lost the lead? Okay, we've got to pay everybody their wages. Fortunately, we do have a little bit of money set aside. So yeah, we do have some cash. Um, the casino's made a loss. That's not good. We've got 800 monies. Okay, so we've got a little bit of money. We didn't buy any land, fortunately. Howard Carter's family member died and there will be a funeral. Howard Carter... Oh, I thought you were going to ask me to pay for the funeral. I was going to say, no. Howard, uh, Howard Carter asked you for a free week or two. However, he expects to get paid on this little and sad vacation because funerals are expensive, right? Um, give free week free. Give paid free week. What? What? Give paid free week. Give free week free. I don't know what that means. 
What is he asking for? A free week or two? I'm giving him a paid free week or a free week. I'm really confused. I don't know what this means. <laughs> Maybe because the hour is late. Maybe I had an, I have an end of tea. Give him a paid free week. Or give him a free week free. Oh, so that means I don't pay him. Oh, no, I'll, I'll pay him. It's fine. He's having a terrible time. A family member's died. I'll, of course I'll pay him. Um, Howard Carter pausing in expeditions for one turn and can't be manager for one turn. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. It's a shame because he's actually quite good. Uh, and we got some coffee. Okay, let's take a look at this. We're still number one. We're still number one, but we must be. It must be desperately close. He's on 45 and he's on 43. Oh my goodness me. It is going to go down to the wire next time. It's going to go very much down to the wire. Oh my goodness me. Yeah, that's, that's a little bit close for comfort. And we could have had three more, but that just... That last expedition just did not work at all well, did it? Our people did not cover themselves in archaeological glory. But there we go. Yeah, you can't win them all. So we have ourselves, what, another seven rounds with it or something like that? Is that how many we had left now? One, two, three, four, five, six. Another seven archaeological expeditions for us to see if we can take victory. So yes, we will finish this up next time out because yeah, we've gone through quite a few today and now we kind of know what we're looking for. We kind of know what we're doing. Then um, then yeah, I think we can sort of fly through to the end and just see if we can take victory. I think it's gonna be very close. We might lose the lead at one point. We might take it back. And yeah, you see that, that one there, that mission, uh, that expedition we did just there was a bit of a risk. It was a massive risk. It was riskier. And yeah, it failed. It went horribly wrong. We got no money and we didn't... Oh no, not no money. We got 800 money, which is not much. But we got no reputation. So if we have taken one of the other ones that we might have got at least one reputation from just to extend that lead a little bit more. I do not know. So next time out, we're going to be balancing kind of risk with reward, I suppose. Just make sure that we can stay in the lead. But we might have to take a few risks at some point, just in case the other two start getting a bit too close for comfort. But yes, we shall have a look at all that kind of stuff next time out, because we'll finish up for the moment. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, then please do leave a like. That would be very, very splendid indeed. And also, if you are not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on next time out in what surely must be the final part of Archeo Shinar. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. I just want to point out the danger of blasting fire into the face of somebody who has not got any kind of headgear on. Let's suppress the pants off that thing. I always knew hiding on a park bench would be no good. Oh no, it's a terrifying disc thing. The aliens shoot him with such force <laughs> that he loses his hair, which is just ridiculous. <laughs>